Good afternoon, everybody. This is Mark, and we're back here for the Daily Recap. It's Monday. Um, so, you know, it's really since the Brexit, we've rallied everything. We've rallied everything what the exit Brexit brought, brought us and some. We're at highs. The Nasdaq hit highs today also. Um, so we have cleared levels that, quite frankly, we haven't cleared in a, a, a very good amount of time. Um, some of it, you know, you can use that level. Some of it's going back to uh, June, but some of it's going back almost 18 months to, two, to almost two years. That is a good sign in general in the tape. I hear a lot of people on the chat room, well, we should be looking to short. Again, we are overbought. We've gotten to points where I think it is hard to initiate new buys without some digestion, without a little bit of a pullback. But everybody is waiting for something, some type of catalyst. And the catalyst was get everybody screaming short on the Brexit news and then rip everybody's face off as four days later we're basically back to where we were and then gradually go higher. Albeit, it does, it, it, there is some challenging you know, factors behind it. We have TLTs, TV, you know, bonds at highs or lows, which, whatever you want to call it, golds at highs. Um, it's weird. And then stocks at highs. So it is a strange occurrence. It doesn't happen very often. But the same thing as everybody keeps saying, there's no other place to put money. And in turn, I think also a lot of people are under, uh, under um, exposed, which means if we go higher, they have to chase. And that's not part of our game, but you have to know it as part of the landscape for what we do. And that's where we're at. So am I screaming, buying, you know, going into t tomorrow morning? No, I, I do think we are overbought. I, I would like to see some digestion. Doesn't necessarily mean, mean it's going to happen how I want it to happen. But overall, I think this is a good sign. And I'd like to see what the next few days brings to us. So here's a spider chart so you can see what's, what's happening. We've gotten over some key levels. The key is now we have to hold it. Um, some, some stocks that we all look at and we play pretty consistently, Amazon. New all-time highs. I think it's crossed... Uh, it's either at the fifth or sixth uh, highest value company in the world. Looks great, but it did just move from you know Brexit lows of 680 to 750. So you're talking, you know, almost 80 points, um, 70 points. I would say take some off if you haven't already. If you haven't already, and if you've been holding it, but it's going to digest at some point in time. I would imagine. I think earnings are in two weeks. Uh, Google finally playing a little catch up. I actually took most of it off today, coming into its 10 day, but it still is down for the year. So it certainly still has some uh, room to catch up on if it really wants to. Probably earnings is going to be the telltale there uh, across the board. Facebook, the other tech that we all like to look at, um, looks fine. Doesn't really trade that well these days, but I think above earning, you know, earnings will be the key. Is it going to make new all time highs? Baba woke up this morning. Um, had a nice continuation, and you can just see the chart. You're going back, you know, 82 is the first level, and then 85, as somebody said on the chat, uh, is, the, is the next level, 85 and change. Um, so it's, it's basically right at the level where I think you're going to get some new buyers coming in. The next level is $3 higher from there. But overall, to me, it looks pretty good. Uh, Baba, we know how it trades. The, it's, it seems to be a one-day wonder, but let's see if that's going to change at some point in time. Um, the bios have had a very, very good move. You can just look at the LABU, which is the ETF, or the IBB. You know, from Brexit lows, 238, it's already back to 271. So with basically one red bar in that, one red day in there. So I would expect some digestion in the bios. You know, the best in breed, in my opinion, we were talking about at the end of the day. I think Gilead, Celgene. Amgen, um, if you're going to go after them, you look for you look for nice. Sorry, you look for nice little pullbacks after digestion, which is the key. And a lot of these stocks have formed nice bottoms, and now they're forming like a, probably a, a little bit of a cup and handle, technically speaking, um, for us to look at. What else is there for for us? The semis had a decent move. You had Intel leading. Um, and you can just see it's coming back to almost January highs, and, and that's a very good move. And Intel does not move like that, but Intel is the best in breed at this point in time for those type of plays. Other good ones, AVGO and SWIX, um, are both you know 
high quality names to 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 own if you think the semis are doing well. The banks, you know, J.P. Morgan's best in breed. We know that already. Um, they seem sloppy still to me, and I don't think there's really a definitive pattern for me to say let's get in there and start cranking. But interest rates keep going lower. We don't raise interest rates this year. Banks aren't making the, the vig that they need, they need to make. They're not really getting where they need, need, need to go. Obviously, they have a lot of money on hand regardless, but overall, technically, nothing is there to tell me that it's that compelling. Uh, we had a few decent trades from a day trade point of view. We've been working on the M MBLI uh, since the 45 level, broke below there, and obviously, that's sort of the, the signal broke below there, and now it's working its way um, a little higher. Probably needs a day of in this area, but overall looks good. Fifty dollars, fifty-two dollars might be the next target um, for us to look at across the board. Uh, you know, some some beaten up stocks that have really caught a, a nice bid. I don't think there's any defin definitive charts that I want to talk about in that respect. But PA and W had a nice ba uh, bounce from the bottom. W Day had a nice bounce. Some that is a best in breed CRM, I think, is a very solid stock. Um, it was my a play of the play of the week for me. Um, I'm not involved right now, but it does look good. It gapped up, and I really couldn't chase it. But overall, it, it's it, it looks healthy, and, and it's one of those go-to stocks that when you get a pullback, you look to get involved across the board. So overall, guys, it was one of those days that um, you had to probably be long pretty much to to really take advantage and capitalize on this tape. Um, is that tomorrow going to be the same you know, script? I'm not so sure, but I think you just got to respect the fact that we, we, should, we should digest a little bit over the next few days. Doesn't mean we will. I wouldn't be getting stubborn if you're looking to short. I wouldn't just put on blind shorts and, and, and walk away from it. I don't think that's really how most are going to get paid. Um, but I would, I would like to see some back and fill in to make it a healthier tape for me to really have nice bases for us to really propel a lot of these stocks from. And I think that's the key to trading right now. Um, but I respect the fact that we did break higher. And as long as we hold above there, uh, it holds. Um, so we'll go from there. Hopefully you had a good day. Hopefully, you know, just w looking at the different positions and listening to the chat a little bit and listen, reading the chat, I think it helps a little bit, gives you a little bit of more of a perspective, and we can go from there. Have a good night.